Hi, my name is Wendy Kohlmeyer, and I love doing a video every week about living in Bloomington, Indiana. But today, we are outside of Bloomington in a small town that's about 25 miles southwest of Bloomington. And people love this town because it's small and rural and the quality of life here is pretty good according to the residents. So I'm going to take you on a brief tour of Bloomfield, Indiana. I'm sitting right outside the courthouse which was built in 1824 and the town is very much like typical Indiana towns. They all kind of look alike built around a central courthouse. is the centerpiece of the town and you can see that they've added on to it they haven't done as good of a job as some of the other small towns I've been into where they've tried to match the architecture styles is, um, there is some revitalization going on here but there's still a lot of vacancy you can see in the downtown buildings that there's some history and some rebuilding going on I think what you're gonna see here is you're gonna see a lot of little shops dispersed here. I don't see any restaurants really, except for a little cake shop and a coffee shop. So they've got some different things going on. You can see there's an attorney's office and financial services. There's a title company, typical things that you see in some of these smaller neighborhoods. And then of course, you've got your war memorial back here that you can see there. It's a main thoroughfare. There's been a ton of trucks through here. It's a main thoroughfare in between Linton and Bloomington. And so you can see all kinds of concrete trucks and kitchen cabinets going from the rural Amish towns through here on their way to some other communities. So, so this little park is about two blocks west of downtown. There is some pickleball courts and some playground equipment. Over past the pickleball courts, you'll see some other playground equipment. And they've got basketball and a gazebo out here and picnic tables, things like that. But this is also right next to their school. There is one small grocery store here, Ruler. It's in a strip center with a barber shop and a laundromat and a tanning salon and a vape shop. If you don't mind everybody knowing your business, then this could be the place for you. But like I said, people have lived here and they've lived here for generations. Being a farming community, farming is still very popular, agriculture in Indiana, and so this is a great community for that. And like I said, this is only like 15 minutes to the Naval Warfare Surface Center of the crane division and so people love living here because they are that close to their work all of the contractors and and military people that work for crane a lot of them live here a lot of them live in bloomington it just depends on the kind of lifestyle that you're looking for so keep that in mind so let's talk about Bloomfield a little bit. It offers a slower pace of life compared to Bloomington, and Bloomington's already a small town, but this is definitely smaller. And people have to go shopping. So there's a grocery store here, but people, if they really want to do a big shop or, or get some variety to their shopping, they've either got to go to Linton, Indiana, which is another small town that is west of Bloomfield, or they have to go into the big city of Bloomington, Indiana to get their shopping done there. But what people really like about it is that it's, it's a small town and with 2,900 people, 
everybody knows each other, right? So that's good and that's bad too. <laughs> we have to appreciate it for what it is. So there's a really affordable cost of living here. Housing and general living expenses in Bloomfield are typically lower than in other urban areas. If you're looking for something, you don't want to be in Monroe County and pay that type of pricing on housing, you might want to come here and check this out. So this makes it really attractive for people, especially they're working for Crane. What people love about this is it's just about 15, 20 minutes max to Crane Naval Warfare Base. So a lot of the people that live here work for Crane, whether they are military or civilian contractors, this is an easy place to get to. So if you wanna stretch your dollar further, Bloomfield might be the place to do it, whether you're living in town or living just outside of town on some acreage, you're gonna be able to get a little more bang for your buck in Bloomfield. And that's why people like it. It's close to Bloomington, but you can get some acreage and there's, it's not just a far commute. There's a couple things about Bloomfield that the community around the courthouse is comprised of some businesses, but there's a lot of vacancies here. So it looks like they're trying to revitalize it a little bit. You can see some new additions going on here. They have the Apple Festival here the first week in October every year, and they have some other very typical small town type of county fairs and just some different festivals around town so you definitely want to look into that but it is your classic indiana small town now if you wanted to go to the lake there's a couple lakes around here but they're 20 to 30 miles away and the closest lake would probably be lake monroe which is southeast of bloomington indiana so you're gonna spend probably 45 minutes getting to the lake and getting launched, but that is where you're going to find the closest boating property. Too. And I'm also gonna take you on another quick little tour of Newberry, Indiana. Well, Newberry, Indiana is less than 200 people that live there, so there's not really much of a town, but they are building a new community there called Westcott, and they have really affordable housing that is literally five minutes away from Crane's Gates. So we're gonna look at some paired housing and new construction and you're gonna see all that for under 300,000. And I'm gonna show that to you today, coming right up. Okay, so this is the model home that we're going to be going into and you can see they've Three bedrooms, two and a half bath, about 1738 square feet with a two car garage out here in Newberry or Scotland, Indiana, and just 15 minutes away from Bloomfield. So you can get all your grocery shopping done there. Got this built up and ready to go. There's several different paired housing units out here and if you look over here, you can see all the ones that are getting ready to be built. So this is gonna be a great big neighborhood, but they are currently leasing as well as selling these models. Let's check this out. Okay, so as you walk in, this is another paired housing unit, but look how spacious this is. It's got granite countertops. They're making some changes here, so it's a little bit messy, but no big deal. It's got a little breakfast area, and then it's got this outdoor sitting area, which is really quite large. And you can see the all new stainless steel appliances and the custom cabinetry 
as well as the wood flooring. And then here is your first bathroom. And bedroom, which is acting as a sales office. So that's two bedrooms and one bath over there. They don't have the washer and dryer installed yet. And, well, I guess that's a washer dryer for another unit because this washer and dryer is here. And then this would be the master bedroom. really nice so you can so if you work for crane you're like five minutes away from the west gates so as you can see here they've got all kinds of a townhome style a paired ranch and another paired ranch and then they've got all these lots here for development now let me get you a price on this house this one i believe is 298,000. it's got 1737 square feet of living area but you can see how nice and spacious this is and if you work at Crane, you definitely want to consider this. Okay, so we're going into this little paired housing unit. These are both for sale. They are just getting cleaned up now. And let's go check this out. This is a three bedroom, two and a half bath unit. You can see it's got nice luxury vinyl plank flooring. There's your coat closet and your furnace. This is a half bathroom here. We don't have the mirrors up yet. There's still a few things that need to be done here, but you can see kitchen has all nice cabinetry and quartz countertops dishwasher, microwave, fridge, and it just goes out to a little back area that's still being fixed up. And let's go upstairs. This has got all new. This is brand new. So this is the primary bedroom with a nice size walk-in closet here and then bathroom with the quartz countertops and a tub surround here and these units sell for under 300,000 here's your laundry closet with stackable washer and dryer there and your bathroom for the two bedrooms that I'm going to show you. A pretty good size. And another walk-in closet here. And then 
your third bedroom with an, a walk-in closet here as well. 